right, here we are with Muscle Puppy staff doing our ritual staff training. What we're doing at the moment is a five minute sit. Good sit, Harley. Great sit. 328 at the moment, so three minutes 20 to go. Try and do this as much as we can to teach our dogs to hold these positions under any distractions. Good sit. <laughs> Good work, Bree. <laughs> real life, real world training. Hey, Tash, how you going? <laughs> Halfway into the five minutes and my dog's still holding position. Yes. Hey, Will. So, my dog broke. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, dude. Make me look like an idiot. What do you got to say for yourself? 30 seconds. Whose dog hasn't broke? Adam and Axel. <laughs> and the military Marama. Now what we'll do from here is recall our dogs one at a time. That's a fail. <laughs> Come on, get him. Uh, yep. Good boy. Good boy. So I think Axel and Adam are the winners. <laughs> Held the sit and got the recall. First go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello, darling. Is he banjo? Yeah, he's a big boy, isn't he? So has he been training before? Ah, uh, he's a puppy. So what are some of the behaviour trends we've got at the moment? So, bulldogs? Same sort of stuff that we deal with every single day. We're going to uh, teach you another way of doing things called Kuvus Reward Training. But in the future, we do offer other training services like what I call working dog training, which is more of a, like a bringing out the drive in your dog and doing heaps of fun tricks and all that sort of stuff. If you want to go that direction, it's totally up to you. Pressure came on that, she probably pulled it up. And she pulled it up if she wanted to. Yeah, so. If you want to roll over him, then a collar or a punch. Right? There we go, sure. Oh, that's cool. If you guys can have a seat at the moment, and I'll just go through our halters. So everyone, every dog's wearing one except your dog. As you can see with, with my dog right here, the leg's super loose. Okay, we do have people that come in here that have uh, said that they've used these on their dogs and their dog doesn't like it. Okay, so think of a horse, okay, they have, they have to learn to wear one. Okay, some dogs are going to be uh, a little bit painful with it. Some dogs can never wear one, um, but I think every dog so far looks like they'll be sweet. So you've got to make sure that you're not holding um, positive pressure on it all the time because that's going to be super annoying for your dog and that's generally why they start trying to put their head down uh, and scratch it off or rubbing against you, all that sort of stuff, okay? Sometimes, especially with puppies, it's a process. Yep. Alright, so, uh, Sarah will take you through the process. All right, so what we're doing here is we're teaching the group how to teach their dogs to walk loosely on the lead with what we call the, uh, the with me. So the with me is teaching the dog to walk directly in line with the seam of your pants or the middle of your legs. The dog is allowed to go out to the extent of the lead, but adding no pressure at the end of that lead. The dog is never allowed to walk in front of you with the with me uh, until we release them with the command three. 
Um, so the with me is teaching the dog to engage with their owners and teaching them to stay directly in line with them. Alright guys, so we're just about to start a boot camp 
three training session. Uh, we've got about five or six dogs here today in this session. Uh, the, se uh, the session will recap on what we've done previously in our uh, first uh, one and two sessions, uh, which will be our with me's, our step ups, our sits, our sit stays, uh, and our recalls. Uh, then we will go and teach them to teach their dog how to down. Uh, as well as teaching them to set boundaries uh, for their dogs. So boundaries is a great one of teaching your dog not to go through front doors, the kitchens, on and off couches, in and out of your car, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so we go obviously in depth with it a lot more. Uh, and it's my the session three is one of my, my favorite lessons because we, we start to see some really good handling skills and some really good results out of some of the dogs. So um, let's go check it out. Bree's just about to give a uh, walkthrough talk through of what has been taught in the first two lessons. We always do revision of everything we've done uh, in the, the lessons to come just to make sure everyone's on the same page, everything's uh, everyone's up to standard uh, the, and just the skills uh, are up to the standard that we need so we can keep progressing with, uh, with the obedience training with the dogs. Um, so let's go check out and see how Brie goes. Good boy, now good boy. So always remember to warn, then move. Don't move, then warn, because your dog will probably more than likely. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Always come back in. Good boy, gather your lead. Back to perfect position. Swapping that out of hand over, giving up frames. Good boy. Then, Whee! Good boy. Releasing our dog from that. Good girl. Good morning, Good her. girl. Good girl. Okay, good morning, her. Good girl. Heavier, because you're behind girl. her. Nice. Good girl. 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 Perfect good now. girl. When you go back in, heavy warning. Good because girl. Because that's when she's most likely to break. Good girl. Perfect. Back to good position. Good girl. And release. Good girl. Free. Good Nine. girl. Good job, Millie. Good girl. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
See ya. So just finished boot camp three. Great session for all. It's one of my favorite sessions because a lot of the people get lots out of it and the handling skills are generally getting pretty good and the dogs are responding really well to uh, the obedience and the method that, that we're teaching. Um, had some great success with the boundaries, so setting boundaries. A lot of the dogs are doing really well um, and stopping without the owners even saying anything. So the dogs are starting to understand uh, how uh, to stop uh, and not step through a boundary. So all the clients have just left. Um, so it was a really great day, some really good people uh, that we got to work with. Now we're just ending with a little bit of a debrief uh, with uh, a whole heap of the, the trainers and just going through some points uh, throughout the day like we usually do. So let's go see these guys. How did everyone go today? Very good, sir. Adam? Awesome. How was your one-on-one -on -one session? Bunch of one-on-ones, went really well. Uh, did a Doberman Puppies fourth lesson. Nailed it. It was, it was really good. Cool. You'll get to know Adam throughout these videos. Jamie, how'd you go? Good. What'd you just do? Lots. Um, I did a second session with a Great Dane cross Bull Mastiff cross something else named Nala. How'd you go with it all? Really good. I'm super confident. I'm the best. <laughs> Great. How'd you go today? Great. What'd you do just then? Um, what did I? Oh, Jamie Shepard. <laughs> what session head. is it? Four. Big day for Brie, obviously. <laughs> a four session, I have one more, a puppy, so it'll be easy. Cool. Sort of. Awesome. <laughs> how'd you guys go today? Any dramas? Yep, yeah. learning lots. Learning lots. Bella, how'd you go? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, really good? Yeah. Yeah, you did a demonstration today, didn't you? Yeah, demonstrated the circle. Yep, mm. you're really good. Good yeah. work. A good circle. <laughs> Alright, well, at the end of the day for us, time for all these guys to go home. See you!